guys, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be doing a indie buff video. So today's haul is from Happy Place Cosmetics and it's quite a big haul. It's my biggest yet and I do also want to say that I did also order a monthly box but it is arriving separately. It will arrive in March. So Let's just kind of show you what I got. I did pick up two shower whips, four body scrubs, a shower gel and a shower jelly. And I'm literally <laughs> thinking about the last video I did from Happy Place Cosmetics, where I was like, I just ordered five body scrubs. I don't need more. I just bought four. So the first scrub I got was My Lovely. This is meant to be a vanilla -y scent dupe from Lush. Um, I do have the solid perfume but it's too sweet and sickly for me. That's the only product I have in that scent family but this one is like the exact same scent but it's better because I remember reading on the website that it has jasmine in as well like a little bit of jasmine and it's it's such a good scent with the jasmine in there it's not as sweet and it's really nice and also I really love the colour scheme of this it's so good I think the scrubs were 7.75 I think this is my favourite scent second favourite scent I think Don't At Me is still my favourite but that's a really close second it's absolutely beautiful so Moving on to my other three scrubs, I'm going to do Duvet Bay next. Um, I do have the Shower Whip in this scent, it's a Twisted Creation which I've said before it's like two scent families in one pot which are for this one is Duvet Day and Blueberry Bay. So the Blueberry Bay is blueberry scent and then the Duvet Day is like a hot chocolate and marshmallows that kind of vibe and like frosted cereal or something but oh, this smells even better than the shower whip oh, I love it so much and this one has a little bit more of a blueberry kind of scent to it I think it smells it smells really good oh, and the colours are so so pretty as well and it just looks so cute I think so that is Duvet Bay and then these two I'm going to look at the website for the scent families because when I first left them I was like I like the scents but I wouldn't know how to describe them so the first one is Cute But Psycho this is described as like a white grape cognac orange and lime scent which is similar to Supernova I have no idea what Supernova is in reference to. Um, I think it's some sort of perfume but I'm not really sure. So this is what it looks like. It's really really pretty. I think there is luster on the top of this one like the kind of peachy flex. I don't know if you can see and I do I really like the scent of this but I really wouldn't have known how to describe it. Like it's a little bit like citrusy but also like floral and musky. I really like the scent of this one but I'm glad I have the website to <laughs> help me explain what it smells like but it has like a kind of, it just has like a grape alcoholic kind of vibe without the alcoholic part if that makes sense but I really like this. And then the other one I had trouble describing is Mowgli. Now this one, <laughs> this one's an interesting scent to me. So I'm not sure if I like this one. Like I, I like the scent, but it wouldn't be the one that I pick to use first out of all the things that I own. So it's described as like a creamy banana, vanilla milk, fruit loop cereal, sugared grapefruit and zesty lime fragrance. 
I definitely get the citrus and like a little bit of vanilla but I'm not too sure about the banana bit I definitely get like a, a sugary kind of scent as well it's such an odd scent I don't know I like it but it's not my favorite but I'm definitely glad I <laughs> gave I'm just gonna give it a go but I am glad I picked it up but that is Mowgli it is like a beautiful bright color and I feel that does really match the scent so let's move on to the shower whips I was pretty excited about these so I did pick up Duvet Day which is a similar scent family to Duvet Bay because it is just the hot chocolate side by itself and I was like I gotta try that to see how it compares to Duvet Bay and it is literally exactly how I was expecting it to smell because it's just the Duvet Bay without the blueberry and I like both but I think I prefer the Duvet Bay fragrance over this but it's still really really nice because I don't have many like hot chocolate fragrances by itself but I do have quite a few different blueberry scents in my collection from like different companies but this one is really really pretty it's got like pink shimmer on the bottom and I think it looks adorable I love all of these so the shower whips are £8.50 it smells so yummy as well but I definitely think they're worth the money for they feel really heavy like they're really packed in there and you don't need a lot to go a long way and they're really great for shaving as well so the next one is Nidra this is um, like a twilight scent dupe for Lush and it's really cute and pretty and when I the first time I opened the lid I was like whoa whoa because it looks really cute and pastel on the outside but when you open it it's like boom all this intense color and the scent is amazing it looks amazing it's so good and I really wish more companies did more scents even dupe scents or not even dupe but lavender scents um because i like when you think of having like a lavender bubble bar you can't go to many places that do it because it's just not what indie companies really do so i'm really glad i got this because i think lavender fragrances and like hot chocolate or chocolate kind of fragrances are and earthy ones too but are like my favourite kind of fragrances especially lavender I love lavender so much so this is how pretty it looks <laughs> this is by far the prettiest one I've ever had and it's so pretty and this one has glycerin as well obviously all the way around I cannot wait to use that okay then I'm going to show you the shower gel and jelly and then I got another sample as well like thank you so much for sending me the sample it is grow a pair again but this time it is the shower whip so I think the shower whip is still available to buy on the website um and it's like a pear and crystallized or burnt sugar kind of scent and I think it smells better than it did in body scrub form so I am actually really excited to try this out because sometimes scents smell differently across different products this smells better than it did in body scrub form it just does so I'm very excited to try this product out and see if I like it in the shower scrub not the shower scrub shower souffle or whip okay and then I think I'm gonna do the shower gel next so it's called throwing shade and it's a beautiful beautiful color you've got the holographic labels again 
and I think this was $6.99. This is my first kind of shower gel from Happy Place Cosmetics. Um, I think it's a pretty good price for that. And it's a beautiful sparkly kind of colour. There are a lot of air bubbles in there, but I think it looks really cool. And this one is meant to smell similar to the Rentless Perfume by Lush. And it has the same kind of like base notes, like patchouli and grapefruit, because I do have the Rentless Perfume. But I think the Rentless Perfume has more of a woody kind of scent. I think it's meant to have Tonka in as well. But I think the perfume also has the resinoid thing in it as well. So they don't smell exact, but they do smell similar-ish. But I feel like the perfume is more woody in general. But I'm still really excited because I love black slash silver kind of shower gels. They're really, really pretty. Um, and then the last product is a shower jelly. And <laughs> it is 6.49 and it's 300 grams, I think. And oh my god, I was not prepared for how big this is. Like, it's huge. This is cheaper than a Lush shower gel. And the Lush ones are, the big size, are 240. This is, this is more than that. Like, and it's cheaper as well. So, and also, look how pretty it is. Like, you see the shimmer? It's really, really cool. Um, so this one is Embug. I did want to get the shower gel, but it sold out within like five minutes, I think. I was like, whoa. So I decided to get the shower jelly instead, because obviously it's a popular scent, but the shower jelly wasn't sold out yet. And there was something else that was sold out as well. I'm trying to think about what it was, but I can't remember right now. But the Embug Shower Jelly is like a vanilla and lime scent, like definitely lime. So that is what it looks like. I think the only issue is going to be how am I going to hold it? Like it's it's quite big, it's quite a large shower jelly, so I'm definitely going to have to cut it up I guess but or use it in cocktails but I love the scent it's definitely a lime and vanilla scent but not like a sickly vanilla but like a subtle vanilla but the lime is the predominant scent in this and I'm really glad I got this this is the first shower jelly from Happy Place Cosmetics that I will be trying out and I quite like this little lid. So that is everything that I got from this company. As I said in the, at the start, I did also get a monthly box for March. So that will be arriving sometime in March because you always have to buy them the month before so that they can prepare them alongside the restocks and stuff like that because they have restocks two to three times a month it's quite a lot um but i actually really loved everything today i think the only thing i'm a bit mm, about is the mowgli scrub but i love everything very very much i think my favorite is definitely going to be the nidra twilight dupe like oh my god and i'm even excited for the grow up hair um shower whip so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.